I'm here to audition for The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Congrats. You are the first in line. Um, actually, you seem to be the only one in line. Yeah, I must be early. Bye. Well, step forward and we can process your application. Application? Yes, you should have a properly completed application and release form. Oh, right. Now I just have to remember where I put it. Let's see, did I put it in my pocket? Nope. Maybe I put it in my shoe for safekeeping. Hmm. Maybe I should check my... Oh, for crying out loud. Will you just come over here already? Okay, even though you don't have your application, I'll make an exception just this once. You are so nice. Trust me, you won't be sorry. When I become a famous actor, I'll be sure to thank all the little fishes that helped me rise to the top. Yeah, well, whatever you say. Right this way, mister. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. That has got to be the worst stage name I have ever heard. Okay, Mr. SquarePants. The producer, Gil Hammerstein, will be waiting for you past the door. I'm buzzing you in right now. No! I only do studio filming, you crawfish! Filming on location is for chum heads that can't act their way out of a fishbowl. Have you seen The Last Ocean Wars? Ah! No! I'm upset! Um, hello, I... What? No, oh, nothing. I'm busy right now. Let's do lunch. Who are you? I'm SpongeBob SquarePants, and I'm here to audition for The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That is the worst stage name I have ever heard. Anyway, sorry, kid. The show's officially been canceled. What? Why? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are the most beloved superheroes of all time! Well, that may be, kid, but I can't film a TV show without any sporting actors. And none showed up today to audition. Well, besides you. Hmm. I know lots of people that would love to be in this show. That's great, kid. But audiences these days want big-name actors, amazing special effects, and horrible scripts. Well, our script is horrible. But that's the only thing we got going for us. Mr. Hammerstein, I could get a full cast together in no time. I have lots of friends all over Bikini Bottom. I know you'd have to take a risk to rely on me. I work in television, kid. I never take risks. But I am desperate. Maybe you got something here, kid. Yeah, yeah, I like it! Okay, kid. To go on with this crazy plan, we're gonna need a bunch of actors. So take this playbill and get out there and find some. Oh yeah, if you find any interesting props for the show, bring those back too. The bigger, the better! Woo! You should probably talk to the stars too. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are just outside my office. Oh my gosh, I get to meet Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Yeah, sure. Now get out of here and get to work. You're beautiful! Well, what are you gonna do? Like I said, kid, I'm a producer. It's my job not to do anything and look busy doing it. Hello, checker lady. Shh, shh, shh. Don't disturb me. This is an important move, Sonny. Checkers! Oh, can I play? Not yet. I'm still working on my strategy. Okay, I'll check back later. Bye! Checkers! Oh, can I play? Yes! Awesome! Tough luck, <laughs> Awesome! Checkers is a top game to master. It sure is, but you're pretty advanced for a kid your age. 
Hey, right back at ya. Would you like to be on a TV show that isn't afraid to go out on a limb and hire an elderly cast? Sure, but who are you calling elderly? Oh my gosh, it's really them! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That's great, kid. Now, if you don't mind, get out of the way. You're blocking our view of the TV. Barnacle Boy, that's no way to treat our young hero in training. I have so much to do before filming can begin on the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Do you think I can ask you guys a few questions to help steer me in the right direction? Ask away. Just be sure to speak loud enough. I can't hear too well anymore. Do you think I could see the Mermalair? Sorry. The Mermalair is for the International Justice League of Super Acquaintances only. Sad to say that he's not kidding, kiddo. Ooh, I rhymed. Kind of. What kind of actors should I look for? Well, kid, to make a good TV show, you need all kinds of characters. He's right. You need heroes, villains, and a screaming woman or two. Do you think I can show this save? I mean, save this show? Well, now, sure you can, you little whippersnapper. In all my years, I don't think I've ever met such an energetic kid. Well, besides Barnacle Boy, of course. Thanks. I feel more confident already. But I'm actually not a snapper. I'm a SpongeBob. I know crime fighting has a lot to do with research, but shouldn't you two be out fighting evil? Evil! Oh, no. Now you went and got him all riled up. Evil! Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get working on the show. Bye! Do you know where the remote is, Barnacle Boy? You had it last, you old coot. I saw you drop it down between the seat cushions during your midday nap. Dad nabbit, it must have went down the super secret entrance to the Mermalair. If that old blowfish is ever gonna get up and let us have a chance to play. Anxious to resume your learning of the game, my young ward? Yeah, sure. You read my mind. I can read minds. I wish I'd known about that power before. It would have come in handy lots of times. I hope they're serving meatloaf today. They serve meatloaf every day. Oh, right. We should probably get in the lunch line then. It's only 7 a.m. All of you youngsters are procrastinators these days. You know, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy would really like to play a game of checkers right now. Why should I care? When you're as old as I am, you gotta have a really good reason to get up from a seated position. Um, is there any way you could get up to let them play? I am a bit hungry, Sonny, but I'll only get up for my favorite meal. Hey, do you know what's being served in the cafeteria right now? No. Is lunch being served early today? Oh, yes, to celebrate, um, National Meatloaf Day. Meatloaf? I love meatloaf. Well, you better go get in the lunch line, then. There you go. Toodaloo. Sure is a good thing that I'm an invertebrate. Whoa, I can't believe it! I'm really in the mermalair. I can't wait to snoop. Oop, I mean, look around. Holy fish under the sea! It's the wall of gadgets! The infamous pickle belt! Time to fight for truth, justice, and laughter! I, I, I... The Shellcom. This device proves that good communication is definitely a powerful item. Prison of mayonnaise like condiments. 
Do you, little yellow sponge boy, have any idea the evil you have released upon the world? Of course. You're Man Ray, the most powerful villain in the sea. Oh, you're the greatest. Yes, I... You are a fan of the evil and hated Man Ray? You bet. They just don't make villains like you anymore. Flattery can only delay your ultimate destruction for the moment. But if you must, please continue. Nobody could fight Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy the way you did. Thank you, thank you. The importance of villainy is often overlooked. But the day of reckoning is at hand. You know, I'm helping to cast the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Have you ever played a supervillain? Would you like to uh... No, I'm through making those fools look good. <laughs> now, I am ready to escape this cave and begin my revenge. You cannot stop me! <laughs> I have to catch him! I bet he's headed for the exit! It is useless to pursue me, boy! My wrath cannot be caged any longer! Oh, amazing! I have to find some way to stop him and convince him to be in the show. Your chase continues, foolish child! You do not possess the power to stop me! <laughs> oh no, I'm running out of chances! Hmm. Wait a second. If I remember correctly, in episode 17 of The Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, aha! They used the tickle belt on him. The time has come. Finally, my rage will be released unto the world. All I have to do is walk out the door. Ouch! What is this? Some type of force field prevents my path to the door. No! I will not be defeated by such a worn out cliche. I must remove it. The invisible boatmobile must be blocking his way. Now's my chance! Here goes nothing! And... Activate! Tickle! What... What is this? <laughs> Stop! No! No! Stop! <laughs> Man Ray, baby! I really want you to reconsider being in my show. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just have to leave you there then. No! <laughs> Wait! I'll be in the show for you, Mermaid Goodbye. Okay then. Um, how do I stop this thing anyhow? You! You fool! I demand an end to this big torture now! Oh, maybe this is the off switch. This button must open the door. Ignition started. All systems go. Oh no.
Now just relax, Mr. Krabs. Getting yourself upset is just not going to help. Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one whose life has just been ruined. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? I'd like to tell you, me boy, but it's just too horrible to put into words. Oh, no. What is it? Is the Krusty Krab closing down? No. Did a customer find a scale in the galley grub again? It's much worse, lad. <gasps> I can't take it anymore. What is it? All right, I'll tell you. But I'm warning you, this news ain't for the faint of heart. I, I, I can't count me money anymore. Oh. I told you it was terrible, boy. Now please, let me alone. Your youthful energy is just too much for this old crap to bear. Hi, are you a doctor? Yes, and I'm attending to my patient right now. If you need anything, please ask me quickly. Is there anything I can do to help Mr. Krabs? Only the royal fry cook who wields the golden spatula can create a patty pure enough to cure Mr. Krabs. Where can I find the golden spatula? The golden spatula can be found at the fry cook's museum here in Bikini Bottom. But... But, 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 but what? Well, you should go see for yourself. Do you usually make house, uh, business calls? Are you kidding? I hardly even spend time with the patients that come into my office. I was on my lunch break when this cheapskate pulled me in here. I'm obligated to treat anyone in need due to the shrimpocratic oath. Why can't Mr. Krabs count money anymore? Unfortunately, Mr. Krabs is suffering from a rare condition called Greedius Crustaceanus to Cheapus, better known as Kloppel Tunnel Syndrome. Hey there! You look like a growing boy. Wanna buy a weenie to help you get big and strong? Nice hat! Didn't your parents teach you not to mock people? No, no, I really do like your hat. Oh, well, thanks. Isn't this the Fry Cook Museum? Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, business is really slow these days. Besides, the weenie, although often overlooked, is a cornerstone of the fast food market. Hey, this may sound a little strange, but how would you like to be in a TV show? Well, that would be great, but I have all these weenies I have to sell. No problem. Everyone on set will be hungry. I bet they'd love some weenies. Really? Well, uh, could I wear my hat in the show? I hope that you do. Great! Sign me up! Hey! Hold it right there, buddy. Only official fry cooks can attempt to pull the golden spatula out of the vat of ancient Greece. But I am a fry cook, and I need that spatula to help a friend of mine. Yeah, sure, kid. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you can answer some questions, I'll let you try. It's not like some kid could ever pull the golden spatula out, right? Okay, ready? You betcha. Are you a fry cook? Uh, yeah, I already told you that. No, oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, next. Where do you work? The Krusty Krab, of course. Ah, the finest establishment in Bikini Bottom. Maybe you are for real. Let's see. Who is your boss? My boss is Mr. Eugene Krabs, the most generous crustacean in all of Bikini Bottom. <laughs> generous! <laughs> okay then, you're almost done. What makes the Krusty Krab so famous? The Krabby Patty. Nothing can rival the delicious might of this amazing fast food delicacy. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Finally. How is a Krabby Patty correctly put together? Easy! Bottom bun, patty, ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions, lettuce, cheese, tomato, top bun. In that order. Unbelievable! You may be the one! Now that you passed my test, feel free to try your luck up on the podium. Whoso pulleth out that spatula from that vat of ancient Greece is right-wise dubbed the Royal Fry Cook! 
Hey, now that your job is pretty much done here, would you like to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Band? You are the one, the royal fry cook. My will is yours to command. Um, great. <laughs> in my day. What is that noise? Don't hear you, idiot! It's me, Plankton! Oh, where are you? I'm underneath the stupid robot. Get it off of me! How can I help? You'd have to get some oil to loosen up the joints on this worthless robot of mine. That's easy. Back in a jiffy. Wait a second, you idiot. When the robot fell, it also broke the controller I used to operate it. Oh, so I need to get something besides the oil? Yeah, you'll need some kind of portable communicator to control it after it's been oiled. Hurry! This thing is crushing my spleen. How did you get under the robot? I forgot to oil the joints on the dumb thing this morning, and it got stiff. Yeah, yeah, okay, but how'd you get under it? I'm getting to that, you twit. Ahem. I was over here working on a plan to conquer the wo- I mean, a plan to stop world hunger. And this thing got stiff and fell over on top of me. Locked. I wish I knew the key code. Biologic analysis of the secret formula is stalled at 99%. The final parameter, a.k.a. ingredient, cannot be determined. Hi, Karen. Are you still trying to discover the secret formula of a Krabby Patty? Ah, uh, negatory. I'm uh, uh, analyzing a different secret formula. Oh, okay. Are you and Plankton, um, you know, uh, betrothed? You're a nosy little sponge, aren't you? Well then, do you know the combination to open up the storage closet? Of course I know the combination, but I cannot give it to you. Why not? I am only programmed to give that combination to Plankton. Can't you make an exception? No. Karen! I order you to give me the combination to that storage closet. Oh, what's the matter? Are your plans for world domination not coming together? Again? No need to rub it in. Now hand over that combination! Oh, nice to see you too, honey. <laughs> I knew it. What did you say? Uh, nothing, dear. Hey, Karen, how would you like to be in a TV show? Very funny. And who am I supposed to be in the show? Someone's laptop? No! In fact, I find you possess a soul and wit not often found in macro processors. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll upload myself over to the set. Um, okay? That was computer humor. Oh, never mind. Uh-huh, this should do it. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. <laughs> Awesome! Now I just need to find some kind of wireless controller to get him off of Plankton. It's about time, you imbecile. Another second under there and I'd have been a goner. Now I can get back to world domination. Hey, Plankton, now that you're free, how would you and Robotic SpongeBob like to be in a TV show? Hmm. A popular worldwide medium could be used to manipulate the thoughts and minds of the countless mindless idiots that watch! Count us in! Oh look! Mermaid Man's magic conch! There he goes!
Thanks for helping me get through that, buddy. Hey, wanna be in a TV show? Animal actors can become pretty famous, you know. <laughs> Great. Now I just have to teach you how to talk. this green glowing rope doesn't seem dangerous at all. I wonder where it goes. Hi, can you tell me? Wow! How do you make your voice echo, echo, echo like that? If you learned how to breathe fire, you'd be scarier. All right, that's enough. What do you want, kid? I don't have all eternity to answer your questions. Well, maybe I do, but but that doesn't mean I will. How can I get into the captain's quarters? Well, I have the key, but the captain is busy right now and doesn't want to be disturbed. Besides, if he finds out that I haven't swabbed the deck yet, he'll probably send my soul into the dark abyss. That doesn't sound like fun at all. You have no idea. What are you doing out here on the deck? Well, it's the second Saturday of the month, which means today I have to swab the deck. The problem is I can't find my mop anywhere. Oh yeah, I'm also supposed to scare away anyone that gets near the ship. Something tells me you're not gonna get a raise anytime soon. Thanks, kid. You really know how to kick a ghost when he's down. What was that? Oh, no! Hey, where are you going? Ah! It's a mutiny! Stations. I'll head over to the ectoplasmic containment flinger. Swab away! This is one of the finest mops I've ever seen. Here, take this key. You can use it to visit the captain, but I'm warning you, he has never taken kindly to strangers, especially ones that are still alive. Would you like to be in a new television show that I'm helping to cast? Television show, huh? Can I play a pirate? Well, okay, but don't get upset if you wind up being typecast for the rest of your life. Or, on life. Or, afterlife. Oh boy, wait till the captain hears about this. <laughs> It's about time you showed up. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Now get out of here and get to work. You're beautiful. I wonder what this button does. What have you done this time, you old coot? Mermaid Man! That's it. This time, I'm calling the police. Quick, Mermaid Man. We need to get out of here to work out what's going on. This all looks evil. Evil? Quick, Barnacle Boy, to the Mermaid. Shh! Don't give away our secret hideout. Oh, yes. Uh, good point, Barnacle Boy. To the, um, to the secret marmalare! Away! To the invisible boat mobile! Wait, Mermaid Man. I have some powder spray to help us find the invisible boat mobile. No time for that. I sense evil! It's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. They've destroyed shady shows and they're trying to escape. All units proceed with necessary speed. I got him. Over. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been arrested for the theft of one rest home. 
and are under the suspicion of theft for a number of other buildings around Bikini Bottom. I was nowhere near my utility belt at the time. I was just trying to flush the toilet, I tell ya. You think that's bad? Try actually committing some exceptional crimes, only to get arrested for jaywalking. <laughs> this whole building theft scheme could never have been cooked up by those two idiots. <laughs> I concur. In fact, it seems like the sneaky hermit is up to his old tricks again. He certainly is a crafty one. I've never heard of Sneaky Hermit. What does he do? Well, basically, he steals buildings. Well, Man Ray, <laughs> it appears that there has been a clerical error, and you're free to go. <laughs> and it appears, Dirty Bubble, that you are too. Come now, there's crime to be had. Oh, uh, evil. Evil! To the invisible boatmobile! We have to pick up the sneaky hermit's trail at the Shady Shoals. Away! Well, it seems that Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been cleared of the building thefts. But the real culprit is still at large. <laughs> Content to merely hold the rest home upon my back. I want more. A whole city belongs with me. A whole country. The whole world! We've come to welcome you to the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, the neighborhood of evil. And if there's anything we can do to help you settle in, feel free to take this creature and go set up a distraction for the fools who would seek to stop me. That should keep them gone just long enough. <laughs> Meow. 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 No clues there, Mermaid Man. Well spotted, Barnacle Boy. Looks like we have to talk to the only man in town who knows everyone in Bikini Bottom inside and out. The X-ray doctor? Yes. I mean, no. I'm talking about Grubbs the chef. A simple man, perhaps, but sometimes it is only when one who sees life simply that one can perceive its true meaning. Wow, that's really deep, Mermaid Man. Huh? What's deep? Do I know you? Yeah, I've heard of him. What have you heard? I've heard that he's, uh, really sneaky. Well, that's groundbreaking information. I have one more question, Grubbs. How's my order of meatloaf coming along? And now that Moron Ray and the Dopey Bubble are occupied, it's time to add a bit more evil to my home. This task should impress our new neighbor. <laughs> yes, I see many wonderful years of villainy ahead. Stand down, fools. This ingenious fry cooking device has rendered our victim helpless. Yes, take one step closer and it's fried damsel in distress. What? Ah, you fool. You have to save the damsel. Do I have to spell everything out for you? Dirty Bubble, come and let us retire to my lair, where we shall imbibe the rich nectar of the steamed Terrazzo Monticello and feast on a delectable selection of profiteroles. Huh? <sighs> coffee and donuts. Let's go get some coffee and donuts. Why I even bother talking to you, I'll never know. It looks like she's set to be floured, battered, lightly seasoned, and then cooked until she's crispy brown, uh, with the option of salt. Don't worry, little lady. We'll get you out of there. Turns out the sneaky hermit sent us here to keep us occupied while he stole our secret lairs. That really is sneaky. I propose a temporary truce to rid us of this sneaky foe. So, lean green marine the biologist, 
What can you tell us about the sneaky hermit's possible weakness? Well, the superior Pagaristes Frontalis. A what? Speak English, or I will crush your brain into a lumpy mass with which I could spread across my morning toast. I love toast. Um, ahem. As I was saying, this superior Pagaristes Frontalis, or Super Hermit Crab, is very tough indeed. Luckily, he does seem to possess one glaring weakness. Pepper. During his allergic reaction, this sneaky hermit should begin to sneeze violently. Perfect. To the final showdown, away! It seems as if the sneaky hermit cannot be stopped. Why, right now, he's even stealing this very news station. Your reign of terror... And your reign of sneakiness... ...has come to an end. Well, well. Do you truly believe your little pathetic alliance is enough to stop me? Our combined might will spell your ultimate doom, sneaky one. <laughs> You've run out of places to run and hide, sneaky hermit. Enough! Now my true power shall be unleashed in all its sneaky glory. No, no, no! <laughs> you cannot withstand this awesome surface tension. You'll pay for that. <laughs> I've seen better moves from a baby seal. Time for the secret weapon. Yes, now, while he's occupied. No. No. No! How could you know? Lachu! My only weakness. Lachu! Psst, man ray. What now? Um, you fought well, do-gooders, but now we must bid you adieu. Come, Dirty Bubble, and let our evil be set free upon the world once again. Yes, let us wash this clean taste from our mouths. <laughs> well, I guess everything is back to normal again. Yep. Mm hmm are you gonna pull your pants up, Mermaid Man? All in good time, Barnacle Boy. All in good time. Found you! No! Please! Don't let her take me back there! Please! Take me to the cops! To prison! To a sci-fi convention! Just please! Not there! <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, get back to Shady Shoals now. Yes, ma'am. Ah.